I have a responsibility. I'm committed to cleaning up Boat Harbour. I've made that commitment uh, very clear. Uh, at the same time, if uh, we have a project that can get an environmental permit that is sustainable, that allows that company and that sector to continue to operate in the province, then I have a responsibility to look at that. And uh, if one gets here, and uh, I would communicate that to people. Hi. Mike, you and I spend a lot of time listening to the debate on the floor of the legislature, and uh, one thing that's really important is to listen closely to the language being used, because in politics, words matter. And what we saw last week was the Premier change the language when it comes to the closure, or the eventual closure of the Boat Harbor facility in Pictou County. The change in language last week was with the Premier saying that if the mill's owner, Paper Excellence, can secure an environmental approval to build a new treatment site before the deadline, to use his words, he would have a responsibility to consider all possibilities. And in this case, the only real possibility would be during the fall session to introduce an amendment to the Boat Harbour Act that would either change the closure date of Boat Harbour or make it open-ended. And you can't forget that McNeil is the seventh Premier to have this file on his desk and he was uh, bound and determined, at least until now, to be the guy to close that file and end the what he called the discrimination uh, against the Pictou Landing First Nation. But on the note of language, the other thing we heard from him last week was a sense that the Premier wants the mill to stay open, he doesn't agree with people who want the mill to close, and so parties such as the First Nation, who may support a closure of the mill, may be out in the cold when it comes to finding a different way through this. Well, whether or not he becomes the seventh Premier to punt that down the road, we'll have to wait and see. If the mill goes down, it's indisputable that there will be a widespread effect on the sector. And so he's being lobbied by mill representatives, people who work in the woods, lobbyists who at one time worked in his own office are working on that front. On the other side of the political calculus is the First Nation in Pictou Landing, who have watched year after year, government after government, break promises to eventually close the site. Chief Andrea Paul, when she was here for the introduction of the Boat Harbor Act in 2015, said it took a great deal of faith on the part of her community to agree to the plan because there is so much mistrust built up over decades. And it's difficult to see how this would be received as anything but really bad if the Premier in fact changes the date. And we could have an indication of exactly what the government plans to do as early as this fall when the sitting resumes because they would have to bring in an amendment either changing the date to a new uh, deadline or keeping it open-ended to keep their options open. And at that point we would know what that means for the forestry sector, what it means for the people of Pictou Landing First Nation, and what it means for the credibility of Stephen McNeil.